Can I present yeah, to the sure. camera? Go ahead. No. Yeah. No. If you want. No. Here is my good friend. Hello. Hey. Uh, smart to the camera. I you, am you from Gothenburg. <laughs> Gothenburg. Well, that's yeah. almost Sweden. the uh, wool pad Canada Canada wool padded jacket subscriber asked me if I could do a review on this so your wish is my command the interesting part about this jacket is the material of course and it's wool it's recycled wool and it also has reinforcements on top which you can uh, wax with the G thousand if you want a uh, little bit better rain protection of course wool is great for lower temps when it's a little bit colder also rain I'm not saying that this is a rain jacket, but if it were to drip a little bit, this jacket would still keep me warm. It's recycled wool and renewable wool isolation. Another cool thing about this is that the material is uh, from Swedish sheep, which is not that... Uh, we do have sheep here, it's not that, but it's not that common that the material is actually from here, so that's pretty cool. If we get a little bit closer here, you can see... I'm just going to swing the mic too much, but if we film here... You can see a little bit of info on the wool. I believe this is from Rattlandsgården. I have a small clip of when I passed that on my hike this uh, summer. Some of uh, Fjellaven's wool garments are made in this area here, or the wool come from this area here. I actually walked past that area, so it was pretty cool to see where, where it's made. I would use this jacket in uh, fall, winter. You can use this jacket, as I'm doing right now, as a standalone, or you can use it as a mid-layer if you have a shell jacket above. I use this jacket in the summer and spring if I'm not doing any high-paced activity, if I'm just going for a walk in the forest. I want to dress up a little bit. I think this jacket is nice, so if I want to dress up and look casual plus i would uh i would definitely use this jacket working around the campfire 100 percent, or just a walk in the park like we're doing now it would also work i'm uh wearing uh, just a t-shirt and then a sweatshirt and then this jacket here and of course the the hat to match and i'm i'm doing okay considering the fact that my beloved cameraman has uh long johns and uh, 45 pairs of layers on him uh cold. it is cold yeah when you're old what i like the simplicity about this jacket you know the pockets everything is with uh snap snaps even the side pockets here so you have snaps here on the so it's easy to open and close things won't fall out um yeah this is a good looking jacket can i say the main feature of the jacket it's the look no nah, i would not yeah maybe you, you could not you have to mention that it comes in all black and i think uh deep forest as well but this is a classic look, so this would be the added feature. But I think the main thing would be um, uh, the material, uh, the way that it's made. Uh, Swedish sheep and it's uh, renewable and it's uh, recycled wool as well. So I think that's the main feature. And uh, of course, all the features and benefits of using wool. Then we could just take a quick look at the back. You can see where the G1000 goes. You should go across here. And as per usual, this is a size M. I've been hitting the gym, as you guys told me, and seen. Appreciate that, by the way. Considering that I have a sweatshirt underneath, um, I think I'm, I'm pretty good, if this makes sense to anybody. Another thing you can consider with this jacket is, of course, that uh, when you use it, it's always depending on the little layers. If you have gloves, buff, your hat, all those things, and the layers, base layer, and all those things. All those things combined, that's what's going to make this jacket work perfectly for you depending on the weather and the circumstances and the situation that you're in so i think that's about it for uh, this video guys if you have any questions just let me know and i'll answer them as soon as you can and as soon as i can crap uh, can i talk to yeah come on in man uh, uh, what do you got yeah where are you from i'm, I'm from brazil brazil uh, where are you from where do you think i'm from uh, i think uh, for your language you are from uh, Okay, maybe Australia, could Canada. Be. Uh, could be. The jacket would symbolize Canada, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but now with your language, maybe US. Yeah, there you go. Close. Yeah. Really close. Uh, what for channel? Uh, it's about hiking, uh, outdoors. Outdoors? Almost. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Yeah, I, uh, yeah you, you have a, a small piece so, of forest there in the Brazil. I believe it's called the Amazon or something uh, like that. Yeah, yeah just a small patch. Yeah, it's a little bit left. Small, yeah. I love this uh, place. Yeah, especially now, the temperature yeah. and the climate right now, it's uh, probably the worst ever. I know the language and all this stuff. Uh, yeah? Here in Malmo, we say like, uh, 
har låder. Ja. In uh, Göteborg, uh, they say, Enna. Enna. Yeah, maybe they do. Enna. <laughs> maybe they do. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Yeah, the same to you. Have a nice day. And yeah. sorry that we interrupted. No, no worries, man. You, I think you made it better. Oh, oh, oh. You improved it. Peace. <laughs> Bye -bye. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Thank you.